Hello Dragons, my name's Adam Yurt. I'm here today to offer you 5% equity in return for an investment of £100,000. Send My Bag was founded after my girlfriend was forced to pay over £60 excess baggage when travelling from Heathrow to Belfast. On returning home, we looked online for a service which we could use to send her suitcases to university the following term. One didn't exist. So the next morning, I spoke to the National Couriers and by that lunchtime had set up a service where I could collect and deliver a 30 kilogram suitcase anywhere in the UK for £22. Over the next few years, the business has netted me in excess of £100,000 profit. Travelling with luggage can now represent a real financial pain. The solution is an affordable international luggage service and that service is Send My Bag. Happy to take any questions. How many years have you been doing this? Yeah, I started about four and a half years ago and it is growing rapidly. So far this year, we are up 250%. So what's your projected turnover? We're going to finish this year at £200,000. So net profit's going to be 60000 Will you have taken a wager of that? I won't have. You won't have, right, okay. No. So you've got a company projected to make a maximum of £60,000 without you taking a wage, and you've valued the company at two million quid. I have, yes. You're going to have to show me why you're standing there and valuing what you've got a couple of million quid. The two, the two million valuation is, is from real reasons. I've looked at other tech startup businesses. I've looked, are they positive cash flow? Is their market growing the way our market's growing? No. Adam, whichever book you read that told you that's how you value that business, did they forget to put the bit in and you have a business that anyone can copy, so if it's really successful, somebody will nick part of your lunch? Adam, you are valuing your business at 10 times revenue projections. But we have a brand. Our brand as well. You don't doing have it. a brand. You turn over diddly squat. Yeah, I could set up a company called sendmyluggage.com and invest I, I some own money. That, so you, you can't, but it's like, oh, it's going to be a hard time. No, no, what? You, what you, <laughs> you value a business on your projections at 10 times revenue and you don't expect a hard time. Well, what investigation have you done to justify the most ridiculous, ludicrous, stupid, insane valuation? Do you know I run a courier network? I certainly know exactly what's yeah. going on. So what's to stop me putting a line on my website saying, we can collect your luggage? Yeah, it's tracked. They can even dial online and it can tell them what time it'll arrive. It can even tell them what road it's on. Yeah, that's... that's... But what you've got to do is dial into FedEx's consignment system before you can do that. So what you're doing is duplicating the work that is already being done anyway. I think you're talking rubbish. And to come in here asking for 100k for 5% is, is... You're off the wall. I'm out. Adam, how negotiable is the 5%? After all... How negotiable is the 5%, Adam? My 5% is obviously a starting point. Adam, if you want an investment of £100,000 off me, you need to tell me the highest percentage of the company you would give me for that £100,000. The highest percentage equity that I can go to is 7%. The problem is, it's never going to be worth £100,000 for 7%. I'm out. A humbling experience for Adam. High valuation equals high risk in the den, a risk that didn't pay off for him.